war. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war... War never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. Let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh! Oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're James? just a... Catherine? James? Catherine. She's in oh, cardiac please. arrest. Start compression. Please. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. We need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations. No, don't look people. straight into the light now. James and You'll hurt your eyes. It's just something you could use to do. Place will feel just like Come her. on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. Over here. You can do it. 
There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Surprise! 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 Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday. He's growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once, so have fun. Oh man, you got a pit boy. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not, imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was 10 once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. I wish I was 10.
Enjoying yourself? Happy birthday, Sonny. Happy birthday! I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Attention, everyone! It's time to cut the cake! Enjoying yourself? Hey, happy birthday, Nosebleed. <laughs> How's it going, pal? Oh, no. Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I would offer you a piece of cake, but... Uh... Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I would offer you a piece of cake, but... Uh... Having a good time? It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Now go on. I'm sure everyone else would like a chance to talk to the birthday boy. How do you like that pip boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. I know Sometimes you think joking, you really are as dumb sure as anyone look. else. Who Dick. wants to go around all day being called a fool? Sometimes I think life. you really are as dumb as you Besides, look. That friend of yours could use Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. Games. Yeah, I got ah, one. The Mackers. Super cool, you know, right? Fun? Jeez, you should Always try it sometime, the Daddy. Gang. You, you or me? Like no way! This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. I'm sure of it, Amata. Never suspected a thing. Now go on and enjoy yourself. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butchie and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Coming, hey, Wally! I, I know you were Paul's busy with the water tunnels. purifier. Yeah, Everything's Paul. Fine. I hope Why don't you introduce us to your oh, new sure, best nothing friend? Nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last here? night. Good as new. Happy birthday, dork I wasn't face. worried. <laughs> you can fix anything, right? Anyway, I'm glad you can make it. Are you having a nice time? How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? I help with the decorations, you know. Happy birthday, oh, Sonny. Maybe. They're lovely. Oh, you guys like you that? You did such a splendid Ooh, job. I like that, Butch. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Oh, never mind. I can't believe my mom made me come to this stupid Hello, party. Hello, Officer Gomez. I'm glad you could make Happy it. birthday. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. How about 
thought we'd share it. What are you, five? Give me that sweet roll or I'm gonna pound you. Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. Hey. I'm glad Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Um... You all right, son? No, he didn't hurt you, did he? I don't know. I've got to think about it. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Nice party. Jonas? All right, Butch. Hey, Officer Gomez! Thanks. I'll send nice him right party, down. Huh? Can it. I've had it with you, Butch. Your mother is going to hear about this little incident. What did he tell you? It was my fault? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> You didn't hear what he said to me. I'm not going to tolerate um, any more of your bullying. What about the title right? For now, just remember, I'm keeping my eye on you. Oh, never mind. I can't believe my mom made me come to this stupid party. Maybe the vault rats. You guys like that? Don't you are snakes and rats and wizards. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Oh, never mind. I can't believe... My mom made me come to this stupid party. Thank you for coming, Miss Beatrice. I hope you're having a nice time. Oh my goodness! I wouldn't have missed it for the world. That dear boy is like a son to me. Wow, the pit boy really makes you look all grown up. Happy birthday! Go on. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs. Whoa, that's your hobby? <laughs> Quick, give me an idea for what to name our gang. Isn't being a gang a little stupid? I mean, basically everyone we know is going to be in it. I'll tell you one person who's not going to be in it. You! <laughs> Just oh. Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there.
What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot any time you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Hey, you don't turn ten every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. It's a rad brooch. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile! Boys and girls, different parts. What is your problem anyway? So, I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? Like, I get any kind of special treatment. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now, you've got a GOAT to take. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test, GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We're born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. 
Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. That's not the way it works, and it won't do to go around asking questions like that, especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Your mother, she, she was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so... Time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Take care, son. I got out of here, and good luck. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. How's things? Have you had a chance to look over these results? I was just going over them. Something you're worried about? I'd just like to keep an eye on it. No problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Sounds good. Let me know if there are any changes. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, all right? I... Stanley, sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that just won't go away. Even with the pills you gave me last week, it's the lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. That's still bothering you. Hmm. Well, I can run a few more tests if you like. Yes, I think I'd like that. Will it take long? Oh, shouldn't be too long. 
I just need to get things set up for you. Just sit tight and I'll be with you as soon as I can. Rusty old pipe. Out of my paint way, you stupid tunnel snakes. What is it now, sir? Why don't you just leave me alone? Let's go what into the storeroom, Amada. Amada. I'll show you a tell good your daddy time. on us. I'm not scared of you, Wally Mac. You think you're special because your daddy is the overseer? She thinks she's better than us. Stupid tunnel snakes. Immature assholes, if you ask me. Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? A bunch of idiots, if you ask me. They think they're so tough with their gang. All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Daddy's girl, daddy's girl. Don't mess with the tunnel snakes. What? You mouthing off, Spaz? Everyone knows the tunnel snakes. We rule this vault, and we don't take shit from nobody. Not you, not her, and not her daddy, the overseer. Stay out of this. It's tunnel snake business. Me and Butch were just having some fun with this chick. I don't follow anyone. Wally Mac is his own man, and the tunnel snakes is where I belong. Why? You think Butch is in charge? Is that what people are saying? Because it's a load of shit if that's what they're saying. What? What kind of shit is that? No one talks that way about Wally Mac. He's not the boss of me. Nobody's the boss of me. I'm out of here. We're done here. Done? We're not done. I say when we're done. Don't know who put you in charge. I say we're done. Let's go, Paul. Are you sure? Butch? Um, okay. Whatever you say, Wally. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine, let's go. I was done here anyway. This ain't over, daddy's girl. I'm not finished with you either, twerp. Thank God that's over. Thanks for getting rid of them. Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Yeah! Hey, Susie, what's new? Oh, not much. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. You don't want to be the first class in history to fail the GOAT, do you? You nervous? I'm not. This isn't over, punk. Look, Square, I already told you, we got nothing to say to each other. Oh, look, it's Doc's kid. Great. What do you want, nerd boy? Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why... Good to see you. We're not friends. We're never going to be friends. Got it? Oh, hi. Uh, why are you talking to me? Go ahead and take a seat so we can start. 
Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand is grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question ten. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Here you are.
you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing. Stop bothering me. I, I've just got to figure out this last one. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser. Ooh, what a thunk it. You're so full of it. That isn't true. Get out of my face. I'm all done, Mr. Brach. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee, that's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Snake life forever. All finished? Good to see you. Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Science? Uh, well, perhaps. Let's see what the goat says. Well, well. Maintenance department. I hope your mother will be pleased. I'm sure Stanley will be. What? Bye. Good to see you. Hello. All finished? Wow. Wow. It says here you're going to be the vault's marriage counselor. Almost makes me want to get married. Just to be able to avail myself of your services. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such, uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. Back off. Look, Square, I already told you, we got nothing to say to each other. Snake life forever. See you tomorrow. Anything is possible, even an A. That is the problem. He is safe now. Is he? He gets a good one. Selfish and insolent. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. Jonas! They killed him! 
him. My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Well, okay. I guess it may come in handy if I run into any rad roaches. All right, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there! Crimity! More roaches! Get off! There he is! Holy smokes, that was close! Me. My mom's trapped in there with the rad roaches! Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. That's easy. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rad roaches. Well, yeah, so I hate rad roaches. So what? I tried to go back in to help her. I swear I did. But I just can't do it. So I'm begging you, please help her. I don't know what I'd do without my mom. Oh my god! 
Thank you. I didn't know what to do. You're the best. I tried to run. Gotcha now. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Ow! Blood! Ah! We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. You're the best, man. The best. Everything's gonna be okay now, thanks to you. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. That is all. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me, Tom! Tom be careful! Tom! No! Yeah! Ouch! Oh. Ouch, you nasty oh. little bug. Oh. Now. You want some more? Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us where to find your friend so we can. Oh. He's my friend. I was worried about him. <clears throat> what does he have to do with any of this anyway? <clears throat> Which is why you need to tell me where he is. Yeah. So I can talk to him. <clears throat> 
The Overseer won't tolerate this kind of behavior. Just yeah. get away from me! I don't want to shoot you, but I will! I swear I will! That enough? Dare you threaten me? And with my own gun? I'm your father, damn you, and you'll show me some respect. Officer Mac, don't just stand there! Don't make me take that gun away from you, Curly. Ah! Nice and oh. easy now. Get away from me! Oh, oh my God, a martyr! What have you had done? enough? Oh! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amata will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about Amata, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Guards, help me! He's here! Don't let him get away! Guards! Oh my god. I had no idea my father would I I hadn't I had no choice, Officer Mack. He... Here, take it. I don't want it anymore. I don't know what I'd do if I still had the gun and my father came looking for me. I 
don't know. I don't know. Well, you'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck.
it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for... for, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Gotcha now. Quick, close the door. Gotcha now. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Stop in the name of the overseer. Hold it right there.
if you've got a moment. It's time we discuss something rather important. Is your hand is? Well, I must answer, of course. Of course, I was elected, sweet America. Of course. Isn't the right to vote the very foundation of a democracy? Fortunately, in the interest of national security, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the election. You understand? Please, please help me. I need water. I'm dying. I've been drinking this irradiated shit and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. Oh, please, if you find some, please. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. I'll be there. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. 
So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. Sure thing. What's on your mind? It's called the Wasteland for a reason, but there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City, but don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. Carry on. Hello. Children of the Earth, come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. This ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Let it serve. You're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first?
Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Hmm. Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. I'd ask there. Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Absolutely. Good hunting! Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. 